today on Florida Sport Fishing. Came 50 miles for these yellow eyes. This is a deep drop buffet, ladies and gentlemen. Holy moly. Little nevels. These things, when they eat, they are vicious. <laughs> I'll take those all day long. CB Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one on. Woo! Nice, that's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing utilizes and proudly endorses Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. VMC, tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish. Fish VMC. Fortress, the world's best anchor. Stronger, faster, lighter. Motor Guide, the most dependable trolling motors on the water. And Stingray Tackle, shop where the pros shop. Shop at stingraytackle.com. Got him, got him, got him, uh -oh. got him. You're in, watch the drag. That might be a good one. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We're here in Bimini in the Bahamas. Whoa, dude, it's a good one. I told you. Ran across <laughs> yesterday to do a little bit of deep dropping and we're hooked up right here, baby. Been bouncing around this morning right up this ledge here in six to seven, 800 feet trying to find these things. But I'll tell you what, got them on now. I think I had a couple, and one might have I'm come on. off. You hooked up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Told you, dude, it's just a matter of time of finding them, you know? They're on certain spots. Look at him just shaking his head. Look, ooh, he's digging. He does not want to come up. The cool thing about deep dropping is the mystery of it all. You just never know what you might have. Could be some silky snapper, some yellow eyes. That's what I'm thinking it is here in 650 feet. Wrecked. <laughs> there we go. See, when mine hit, there he comes. The rod, I mean, he ripped the line out of my hand, literally. Insane. Yeah, dude, they definitely hit it hard. Yeah. <laughs> Big amberjack. Is it? Yep. That's what I'm saying, you never know. That's bait. There we go. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but I'll tell you what. I'll definitely take it for a first fish of the morning. That's for sure. This guy was down 650 feet. That's incredible. Yeah, let's get that hook out of him. Nice baby right there. Nice way to start today. Here he comes. I see something silvery. It looks like another jack. Barely got him hooked. Dude, that's a nice one. Dude, that's good eating right there. Oh, yeah. That's an Almaco. You got an Almaco? Yeah. An Almaco and a greater amberjack, yeah. side by side. See how the fin is bigger? Yeah. That's a good Almaco, man. Just dropped back down here. We just, just found our first little pile of fish deep dropping here. Working up the edge right outside of Bimini in six to 800 feet of water. And I think this is our third drop. Got a couple of bites right away. You just never know where you're gonna haul up from down there. And that's the thing with deep drop, and especially here off of Bimini, I mean, there's so much promising territory. You know, you can't just stop the boat anywhere and expect to catch fish. You've really gotta focus on all of the little differences, little hills, indentations, ledges. And I'll tell you what, these, uh, Productive deep drop numbers are highly guarded secrets. Really, the only way to find them is to come out here and just do it. Your, your hooks are too big. This is no. the wrong rig for inshore here. You're never going to catch the yellow eyes and the silkies on that. Look. You got cut off. It might have been a shark. I don't know. Not with that bite. I'm going for bigger fish. That's all. I'm just going for bigger fish. Here she is. My first Mercury. Verado, outstanding corrosion protection, proven reliability. And it comes with all this. Say hi to Wendy from customer support. She's always there to help. 
Jerry from product testing, he dishes out the torture. They can take it. Good. And Tim from design, he never misses a detail. Obsessed with quality. Bobby, prop engineer, he turns horsepower into performance. This is George. Foreign. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Meet the rest of the team at mercurymarine.com. You're going to need to pick a boat. The secret's out. Start with brine and bite. The only brine that infuses proven bite stimulants into any rigged bait. Procure badass bait dyes are next. And bring Ballyhoo to life with vibrant fluorescent colors. Seal the deal with Procure's new bloody tuna oil and watch your catch ratio soar. Inshore and offshore, Procure bait scents and badass bait dyes keep you hooked up. Find Procure at your favorite dealer or call 800 Procure for a free catalog. Looking for an elegant showpiece for your home, business, or yacht? Crystal Glass Company creates exquisite fine art glass for homes, restaurants, and luxury yachts. Dazzle guests with incomparable quality and detail, etched, carved, or painted on glass or mirror. Add LED lights for a stunning result. Design a custom piece to commemorate a trophy catch, or let our artist handcraft a piece of fine art glass just for you. Visit crystalglasscompany.com and prepare to be inspired. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another oh! one on. Three on, baby. <laughs> With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod, your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing, gear matters. getting bites and I'm not. You know how much that kills me? It kills me. <laughs> it does, dude, it does, it kills me. He's getting bites and I'm not. Getting whacked? No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> you got him. Dude, you're gonna haul that thing up with that hooker electric so fast, you're gonna rip its entire know, head right I off. No, I gotta slow down. You gotta slow <laughs> gotta down. Remember. That thing is so fast, it's incredible. Yeah. Uh-oh, this one's pulling a little drag, Mike. Yeah, that's a good one. Dude, for that thing to be bending that stick like 80 that. 80 pound blank like this? I mean, yeah. that, that's a serious fish right there. Ooh, digging, baby, come on. Wow. Might even have a double header or something. That's nasty, whatever it is. He didn't what? want to come off the bottom, that's for sure. No, no. Still on there. I don't, I don't feel him now. Oh, there he is. He hit it the, kind of the same way, so. No. He's digging hard, man. There it is. There it is. Looks like another jack. Freaking monster. Big jack. Big AJ. Big jack. Hold on. Dude. Yeah, big jack. <laughs> 40, 50 pounder. Oh, <laughs> cow, dude, it's a pig. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> Holy cow. Watch, watch the lead. Oh, what a pig. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. That's all you, dude. Wow, I had him good. He wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> this is what was banging that rod down like that from 650 feet down. It was pretty crazy. I almost ripped the line out of my hand again. These things, when they eat, they are vicious. But this will be dinner for some Bahamian that we bring back to the dock. They're going to love us. <laughs> Ask the Experts, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hey guys, crossing to the Bahamas is a ton of fun. However, there's some paperwork you're gonna need in advance to ease the process of checking in with customs and immigration. For starters, every private vessel crossing to the Bahamas needs to have a Bahamas Customs Clearance Form. Multiple page document, you can download it at bahamas.com. Fill it out in advance, it's gonna save you a bunch of time. Every passenger is also gonna need a valid U.S. passport to prove citizenship. As you approach the islands, you have to check in with your nearest port of entry. This is when you're gonna fly a yellow quarantine flag to indicate you haven't checked in yet. Once you hit the dock, only the captain jumps off the boat. He's also gonna need an original immigration card filled out for every individual on board. You have to use originals here. 
He presents all of that paperwork to the Customs and Immigration Officer, along with a small fee for a temporary fishing and cruising permit. For vessels up to 30 feet, it's $150. For vessels larger than that, it's a $300 fee. Keep in mind, you can use those temporary permits twice within the same 90-day period. Once all the paperwork is completed, it should be kept on the boat during your entire visit. At that point, everybody's free to jump off the boat. You can take down that yellow quarantine flag, fly that Bahamas courtesy flag, and you can go fishing. Silkies and yellow eyes are not 20 pounds, they're no, two pounds. Ten, five, 10 pound fish could eat these things. But you, it's not that big a hook. What happens is when you're fishing these depths in six to 800 feet, the primary species are yellow eyes and silky snapper. And those fish don't have big mouths. It's not like a big queen or a grouper that can suck down, you know, a giant bait and a giant hook. These fish are only, you know, they average a couple of pounds and have small mouths. And sometimes you get bites, but if you've got hooks that are too large, you can't get them. You just come up with empty hooks because they strip your bait. That's even smaller than the one I had on Too there. big. This is too big? Seriously? You need to use the smallest rig in there. Dude, that's a small In hook. the six to eight hundred foot goes around depths. my finger. There's one, finally. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. You know, I don't even know how to describe Carlos. If somebody asked me, I, I, I wouldn't even know how to describe him. He's just, he's in his own world. This is the deep drop buffet, ladies and gentlemen. Holy moly, yeah. Juicy, juicy. Really, he's in like Carlos land. See the rod tip? Go on. Where does he come from? Where does this stuff that comes out of his mouth even come from? This is like a little needle going into their mouth. Just nice. How you doing there? All right. Good. I don't know if he's still there though. He left me looking like a fool. are too big. How many times do I gotta tell you that? I think my hooks are too small. <laughs> I'm telling you. They see these things, they're just like, mm-mm. Already? Look at you getting demolished. There he Holy is. Holy moly, dude. There he is, right there. You think you got a fish on? There he is. Not huge, but you know what? I'll right, take away. It. right away. Right away. Right away. I'll take it. Hopefully it's a silky or a yellow eye. Here it comes. Oh, it's a tuna. What? It's a tuna, dude. You got a tuna? Yeah. Got him. Okay. <laughs> dude. That's crazy. <laughs> on the deep drop rig, 600 feet down. On the bottom. Explain that to me. How does that happen? 600 feet down, a black fin. I, I don't know how that happens. Black fin tuna. That's the last thing I would have ever expected to catch. High performance hulls designed for speed, comfort, and durability. Custom features and accessories designed for every taste. A brilliantly engineered machine designed to catch more fish. Presenting the remarkable lineup from CB Boats. Secure any size boat simply and safely with a self adjusting tide slide mooring system. Tide Slide's vertical movement absorbs any motion and allows your boat to be securely held in place while the wind, waves, and tide do their thing. Easy to install, maintenance-free, and hurricane-proven. Take the guesswork out of conventional tie-ups and eliminate slack lines forever. Tide Slide, safe, simple, and secure. Tired of empty coolers? Book an overnight trip aboard the 100-foot Yankee Captains to the world-famous Dry Tortugas and catch trophy snapper, grouper, king mackerel, and more. Fishing these rich waters for 25 years, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or relax on the spacious upper deck. With full galley and huge fish boxes, the only thing you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West, Florida, year-round. Introducing Sea Deck, a shock absorbent non skid material manufactured from UV protected foam specifically formulated for marine applications. Sea Deck's comfortable and durable surface protects your deck, reduces noise, and improves the look and value of any boat.
Available in a range of colors, Sea Deck is fully customizable and easy to apply with a marine grade peel and stick adhesive. Visit SeaDeck.com for a complete line of retail products. Surprisingly affordable, incredibly versatile. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. We're here in Bimini in the Bahamas, just an absolutely awesome island. We're right here at Bimini Sands on South Bimini, of course, adjacent to North Bimini. This is really the gateway to the, all of the Bahama Islands. Really convenient to South Florida. It's only about a 50 mile run from Miami or Port Everglades or Hillsborough Inlet. And there's some great fishing opportunities right out front here. Captain Carlos and I ran over specifically to go deep dropping. And I'll tell you what, we had an absolutely awesome time. We never found those queen snapper, or the mystic grouper we were hoping for, but we certainly caught a whole wide variety of fish ranging from you know, big amber jacks, black jacks, yellow eye snapper. Heck, we even caught a black fin tuna 700 feet below the surface. If you want to come over here and cash in on this fishery, I'll tell you what, you really need to be well prepared. It all starts with the right rod and reel. We're fishing a couple of different outfits. Fortunately, on this 39 CV, we've got a big platform to fish off of. We've got 12 volt outlets mounted underneath the dash. Carlos was fishing a rod up in the bow. I was in the stern, and we were able to effectively fish two outfits the entire time so it worked out nicely. I was fishing a Lingren Pittman S1200. Gosh, everybody knows this is just a workhorse when it comes to deep drop reels. Carlos was hooked up with a Hooker Electric mounted on a Shimano 80 wide. Perfect setup, a super, super fast reel. It's incredibly fast. And of course, the handle and the entire functionality of the reel is still there. So if you're feeling sporty and you want to crank up 10 pounds of lead from 1,000 feet all day, you certainly can do that. Both of the reels are matched to custom chaos, bent butt deep drop rods. You need some backbone. You're fishing a lot of lead, deep water, potential for big fish. You need some beefy rods. They may seem overkill for some of the smaller fish that you're catching, but I'll tell you what, to do this fishing right, you need the right equipment, and that requires heavy duty gear. A couple things that are really important, braid. Load your reels with braid, 65 to 80 pound braid. Skip the monofilament, has no place in this fishery. Double up the last six to eight feet of line, connect it to a 25 to 50 foot, 150 to 200 pound wind on leader. The end of that wind on leader is gonna be crimped to a heavy duty ball bearing snap swivel. Right on that snap swivel, that's where you're gonna connect your multiple hook deep drop rig. You can purchase deep drop rigs right off the shelf at your favorite retailer. Uh, or you can certainly rig your own. It doesn't require a lot of tools. I like to rig my own, but again, you certainly can pick them up right at the store. Remember though that you're gonna be targeting a variety of species, so that means you need a variety of rigs. Everything from a 3.0 and 4.0 hook size all the way on up to a 13.0 hook size. One rig is not gonna cover all of the bases in this fishery, so make sure you come well prepared. The same applies for the lead. You don't know when you're heading over what depth of water exactly you're gonna be fishing in. You don't know how much current or wind you're gonna be faced with. So you've gotta come well prepared, two, three, four, five, seven, even 10 pound sash weights. So this way you can cover all of the bases. Finally, you need a light source. We like those little lingering Pittman strobes. You attach them right on your snap swivel. It's all of the light that you need and they really work well. Finally is the bait. Tell you what, it's hard to beat squid. We get our squid from Bionic Bait. You can pick up frozen squid at your local retailer just about anywhere around the entire state of Florida. But we like to spice it up with either some fresh barracuda, a little piece of fresh amberjack, just something oily. It helps keep the bait on the hook. It helps attract even more bites and you're gonna catch more fish that way. If you head over here to Bimini, if you're well prepared and you've got the right mindset and you're willing to spend the time and explore different depths, I'll tell you what, you're gonna leave here a happy fisherman. Hey guys, a little yellow eye snapper here just picked off in about 710 feet right off of North Bimini. It's a really cool deep dropping down here. You know, you can fish the different zones, six to 800 feet. You're gonna find these guys that are really, really tasty. And often when you catch one, you catch a bunch. They're a schooling fish. And then of course you can fish out deeper and target queen snapper. But the trick is looking for sharp ledges, 
you know, rocky formations. You don't want to fish really in that mud or a, a flat plateau. And here off of Bimini, it's a lot of trial and error. You just have to hit a lot of spots until you key in on exactly where they're at. Coming up. Yeah, not, nice not very big, off. but could be some nice health in this down here. Yeah, that works. How pretty they are. That's why they call them yellow eyes. See that yellow eye? Oh, oh. Huh. Are you serious? Nope. I'm not serious. I got him. I bear hugged him. Look at those. That yellow marking right on the top of his fin. That's pretty neat. Beautiful black, little black marking on the tail. Gorgeous fish. Are you ready to get hooked up? Whoa! Florida Sport Fishing is the number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Each issue is jam-packed with useful articles, easy to follow illustrations, and award-winning photography. Only $30 for two years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com slash TV. Subscribe today and receive a free shirt and Florida Sport Fishing Hoorag. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. When you want the perfect environmentally smart concentrated boat wash that resists water spots, demand Brightwash from Surehold Industries. Brightwash cleans dirt, grease, salt, and more without dulling the finish or stripping wax and or polish. It's fantastic, not only for boats, PWCs, and RVs, but also is the perfect cleaner for washing cars and trucks with expensive clear coat. Brightwash, another answer from Surehold Industries. Clean and simple solutions for detailing all your toys. Florida Sport Fishing has been proudly presented by Hooker Electric, the ultimate fishing reel. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Fishity, the maps to plan, the tools to catch, the option to brag. Ocean LED, the only choice in underwater lighting. And Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. Catching yellow eyes off of Bimini, baby. Nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what it's about. What's cool about these fish, you know, they only average a couple of pounds, but often you can catch them abundantly. You know, you can catch them in big numbers, sometimes two at a time. That's it right there. One, two, three pounds, but absolutely delicious eating. What we're doing is just fishing a combination of some squid that we got from Bionic Bait, perfect for deep dropping, and some fresh amberjack pieces. Stays on the hook really well. Fish enough lead to hold the bottom, and that's it. You can see this is North Bimini here. To be exact, we're right off of Radio Beach. So if you're ever make your way to Bimini and you're looking for a place to deep drop. Right off of Radio Beach here, you'll see those two high antennas, five to 700, you'll find the yellow eyes. If you work your way just a little bit north up off Bimini Bay, fish a little bit deeper, you'll find queen snappers and mystics. Just a couple of spots for you to get you started if you've never been here before. Nice, nice yellow dude, eye. that's a fatty. Yeah, that's a good yellow eye. That's what we want to see, nice fat ones like that. See, you got to contend with that and these spines up here. He does the little, he'll prick you. Yeah, mine can eat yours. Yeah, I think you got dude, look me. look at this. Gone. I think you got me. Oh, yeah. Nice yellow eye. Yep. I'll take those all day long. Nothing wrong with that. It's pretty cool. Cool looking snapper. That's a snapper. Good eating fish. Double header. Huh? Double header. Yeah? I think I got cleaned again. It's got to be the hooks. It's about average size for these fish right here. Just a couple of pounds. 
when you get on top of them, you really can catch them good. These little snapper right here, I'll tell you what, it's so important. You've got to keep these things fresh. Keep them on ice, okay? Keep them packed in ice. When you get back, fillet them. And I'll tell you, you get such white, delicate, delicious fillets, perfect for frying, sauteing, broiling. Really, you can't mess it up. If you mess up this fish, you shouldn't be in the kitchen. That's for sure. Dude, what is that? It's a trevally. It's some type of deep water trevally. That is wicked. Oh, we gotta bring that thing up. That's awesome. No wonder it was fighting so hard. Got him? Nice, nice. Awesome. Dude, that is just another one of the absolutely wicked species that you can catch deep dropping here in the Bahamas. We ran over to Bimini to test out some new tackle, some new deep drop tackle from Hooker Electric. We're also fishing an LP S1200, just some awesome gear. We ran over here to fish today, started off with some big amber jacks. We had some nice Almaco jacks. Oh, we we even, mix. dude, we yeah. caught a blackfin tuna deep <laughs> dropping. Awesome. We couldn't yeah. find those queens or we couldn't find the mystics, yeah. but you know what? That's all right. We came in the 800 and found those yellow eyes and a couple what, of silkies. What is this thing? Dude, that thing I mean, is just wicked. And I'll tell you what, we had an awesome time deep dropping in Bimini, man. I certainly had a great time. How <laughs> about you, awesome. baby? Look at this thing. Yeah, man. that thing is wicked. This, we, we had some variety for yeah. sure. So that was cool. I think it's time for us to, to make the 50 mile run back. So hey, we'll catch you next week. And remember to win one of the chaos rods seen on today's episode. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.